Sir, it gives me great pleasure to be at your residence to confer the 25th SIS Sri Chandrasekhar in the Saraswati National Eminence Award for the year 2022 in the category of Community Leadership. Time has indeed flown. This is the Silver Jubilee year of the awards function. And uh, I used to wonder as to how from an inaugural function when we had, when we gave the first award to Dr. Shankar Dayal Sharma, the former President of India, we have travelled this far and today it's our pleasure, privilege to confer this award on you. These awards are given in four distinct categories of human endeavour, public leadership, community leadership, science and technology and spiritual leadership. In a sense, all these aggregate to the full gamut of life itself and therefore these awards are celebration of life itself. These awards are named after Pujya Sri Chandrasekhar in the Saraswati, the 68th Shankaracharya of the venerated Kamakoti Pitam. He was a spiritual colossal. He was the voice of eternal India. This master of masters was like a lambent light who rekindled the spirit of the nation and brought about a renaissance in many fields of religion, thought and process. He taught mankind groping in the dark. Despite all the strides in science and technology, as to how to journey to a higher destiny and attain Atma Swaraj, freedom of the mind. We continue to remember him with reverence and regard. Over these 25 years, including this year, these awards have been given to 100 men and women of exceptional merit and outstanding accomplishments in the fields of their endeavours. And these awardees include three former Prime Ministers, three former presidents, two vice presidents, two speakers of Lok Sabha, four chief ministers, five governors, five Bharat Ratnas, seven foreigners who have espoused the cause of Indian culture in their homeland and 24 Padma Vibhushans. And in all constituting more than three-fifths of the awardees who have been blessed and decorated with this award till now. Despite the galaxy of these people receiving this award, there has always been a sense of incompleteness. And let me be honest and fair to you that today the mind is full. There is a sense of fulfillment that at last this award we started 25 years ago as a sense of completeness in that one of the most deserving sons of the soil, yourself, Mr. Tata, has been conferred this award today. Thank you. I believe you would never accept awards in your name and therefore this award, like the many that you have received in the past, are dedicated to the large family of Tatas, people who have served in the past, who are serving today and people who would come tomorrow to uphold the flag of this Tata empire very high. The word Tata means differently to different people. But to the common masses across the country, the term Tata means purity, ethics, governance, honesty, fairness of uh, dealings. I believe that during my lifetime, it would be possible to have this word Tata into the English vocabulary and finally featuring in the dictionaries of the world, the Oxford, the Webster, and that word Tata would mean all these attributes that I had said just now. I know, Mr. Tata, that uh, you are far beyond honours, titles and accolades. These titles and honours sit very lightly on your shoulders. You do not hanker for awards, nor do you go for self-aggrandishment. But then, the civil society, grateful of the work that you have done to this country and to people beyond humanity, are ever in need of honouring you as a way of symbolising the reality that you represent for all of us. And uh, when we give this award to you, it's because of the deep imprints that you have left in this life journey of yours till now on the sands of time. 
you have stamped infinity on the thought and process of this nation and added to the reservoir of goodness of this blessed land of ours and in the process you have carved for yourself a niche in the rocky temple of reverential gratitude and it is to the like of these people that the sage of kanchi used to say that we should be in we should pray to the rishis of the yor to give them a life span of 100 years and the sage further added in honoring them we honor ourselves thank you mr tata for giving this opportunity to honor ourselves <laughs> i'm sure in the conventional hindu wisdom the elder when he sees an youngster he blesses him with a long life a life of 100 years and we call it as jeevit sharta shatam may a person live 100 years when modern medicines have reached the masses life expectancy has naturally increased mortality has improved and therefore a 100 years by itself which is an influx of time certain it is no longer a blessings but countless millennia before 5000 years before the atharva vetha could see through this and said the real blessings is something beyond 100 years and this evening i offer that prayer from atharva vetha to you pashyet sharta shatam pushyet sharta shatam rogeet sharta shatam jeevet sharta shatam bhuyet sharta shatam bhayet sharta shatam bhuyam si sharta shatam may you live a 100 years healthy free from diseases of a clear vision not only of the eye but also of the mind and freedom from fear favor and want may you mr tata bless us too so that we can draw a leaf from your life of nobility incorporate into our life journey through passage of time in this eternal quest for in the pilgrimage of perfection a little of the selflessness sacrifice and seva that has been the hallmark of your life and then make our lives sublime thank you sir for giving this opportunity thank you uh giving a, an address today is beyond me i'm overtaken by the emotion that exists and being bestowed an an honor like the, like the one you have just bestowed on me i'm deeply moved and most appreciative of the honor that sits on my shoulders given by an, an association that we all respect and a country that we love whatever i've been able to do in in my working career i've done without seeking uh, recognition of awards or honors this honor however is one i cannot resist uh, accepting and and recognizing i shall keep this with me throughout the rest of my life and recognize the good work all of you have done in playing a role in the development of india a country we belong to and love so much thank you again for giving me this honor and i look forward to the continued leadership that that your association will provide to us in the years ahead thank you thank you thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.